but um, I've been teaching this for a long time. Um, God is good. Uh, he's all powerful. Then why do we have bad things happen in the world? Well, we have to say because he allowed it to happen. He didn't cause it. But he could have stopped it and didn't. He could have stopped Adam and Eve from eating that tree. But he had given them free choice. And they suffered the consequence of that free choice. So a lot of this stuff is simply because we're in a fallen world. But here's what I want to address. As human beings, we don't like to hurt. And so the natural human response is to fight against that hurt, um, to get rid of it if we can, and if we can't, to divert our mind away from it so that we don't have to feel it. Now, I'm going to reveal that I'm, I'm, a, um, I'm not a sinner, I'm a saint, uh, but some people wonder. <laughs> uh, we watched, my wife and I, Bohemian Rhapsody. That's the story of Queen and the story specifically of Freddie Mercury, their lead singer who died of AIDS. And there's a point in the movie where Freddie is starting to experiment with bisexuality. He's going to wild parties. He is experimenting with drugs. And one of his friends comes to him and says this, Freddie, there's a new disease out there and it's killing people. You've got to be careful. And Freddie makes this statement. And when I was watching the movie with Janet, I hit the pause button. I go, did you hear that? Did you hear that? And she goes, what, what? And I backed it up and I says, you missed it. Listen, this is Freddie's answer. He says, oh, darling, being human is an illness that requires anesthesia. My goodness, that is a huge statement. As soon as, that's not that there's something wrong with being human. But it's the fact that we live in a fallen world, and most people are living separated from God. So whether you're a believer or unbeliever, it's tough. And so hurt comes. Now, when we think of anesthesia, we think drugs and alcohol. But how about workaholism? How about television? How about romantic comedies? How about recreation? See, I see a world anesthetizing pain instead of seeking the cure. And so what I'm trying to say, and I'm getting long-winded about this, but instead of fighting against pain, what if we said, Lord Jesus, I'm going to receive this. I'm not going to anesthetize myself. I'm willing, yielded to you to remember whatever you want me to remember, to feel whatever you want me to feel, to experience whatever has been allowed into my life, for you to take it and transform me into the image of Christ. Now, I'm going to run with this just a couple seconds more, if I can. The church loves the crap out of this transforming into Christ. Is it okay to say crap in your church? Maybe I should back up. We can edit this. The church really loves the dickens out of that being transformed into the image of Christ. Being transformed into joy and peace and love and righteousness and rest. Paul said, teach the whole counsel of God. Not just part of it. He's known as a man of sorrows acquainted with grief. So if I'm really going to be transformed into the image of Jesus, I'm going to understand sorrow and grief. And here's the problem. I don't find many people that want to be on that road. Scott Peck wrote a book called The Road Less Traveled about this whole issue of pain. But here's the key. If I allow myself to hurt to 10, the promise of God is I'm going to experience him and his grace and his mercy and compassion to level 10. But what if I did the radical thing? Instead of saying, this hurts too much, to say, I receive this and I go to level 50. How much grace, compassion, and mercy from the presence of God am I going to get? I'm going to get level 50. And what I'm, I try to tell people is, if you will do that, you will become a dangerous man or woman in the kingdom of God because you will be able to relate to a hurting world. The hurting world will be able to relate to you instead of that silly Sunday plastic facade. 
but you will have the answer for them instead of an anesthesia. Huge. So my prayer is that people would receive whatever they're going through in this thing Mm -hmm. and allow God to meet them where they are so they can find him in a way they never knew him and enter into the process of becoming a much more dangerous man or woman for the kingdom of God. 